Hey Guardians, it's unclear, so I'll do a nice quick short little video for the week and just to say how I got over 590 weapon parts without actually leaving the tower. Now this was brought to my attention by another YouTuber, I honestly can't remember his name, I apologise. But um, if you're like me and had over 1200 legendary shards and honestly nothing is you know, worth buying from Zer since you've got everything already, um, it was actually nice to, oh, there's a dog, to actually find a use for them. And if you can farm the anti poke D, the gunsmith weapon, that's uh, the PvP god at the moment, it's a good way to do it. So, what you do is you actually empty your inventory as best as possible, carry yeah, nothing at all, run over to the uh, vaults, ta da, jump on the little access vault, pump yourself into collections. And you just go through and proceed to buy as many exotics as you can for 10 legendary shards. Now this process is quite strange. If you spend say 200 legendary shards, you actually get 100 of them back. So you keep going until, I'd say you about 200 legendary shards. You just keep going, keep going. And then you'll find that you'll obviously get spin down, jump back up to halfway. It's not the end of the world. It's actually pretty good. Nice easy way of doing so. And you get up to a bunch of legendary materials. And how you should get a bunch of legendary shards back, so and weapon parts, and you go to Gunsmith and you just keep spending large. I personally am farming the purely so if the level cap increases. And so when it does I have enough weapon parts to actually go and buy myself more light. So you just carry on through. Like so. Okay, so I actually stopped here, so I got a, a 9, a 9 there, 8 there, 9 there, 9 there. So you start off with 590 weapon parts, and I will just skip this for you guys and be right back. Alright, so this last one there, and now as you see Guardians, I'm back up to 298 from 78. So you get them back pretty quick. Now I'd recommend trying to keep that around the 200 mark, 150 to 200, don't really drop below that. Just in case, you know, Zerv rolls around and you need all the exotics that he actually sells. So we started at 590, for that just there roll. 722 weapon parts now, or gunsmith materials as they're called in Destiny 2. So not too bad, nice way to do it. Um, I'll suggest keep farming that and use them as you wish to farm materials, weapon pa weapons, mods, the whole lot. Get your which are going quite sweet. So they can keep being done, but yes, you don't. You kind of don't want to drop low 200, just in case. So it works quite well. It's a nice, nice little way of um, farming, without farming. But I was just doing it in increments, so you're not like, like me, going through over a thousand weapon parts before you even have to, you know, sort of go to the tower and try it out. Definitely works, confirmed. It's a good way of doing it. Okay, Gunny, so that I'll make this little quick video for you all. Thank you for watching. And if you do like this video and wish to see more like this, please feel free to hit that little like button in the corner and that subscribe button. If you want to leave a comment and say how many you got, I'm always keen to know, leave it in the comment section below. 
Now I do stream as well. I stream two to three times a week. Uh, most of the time it will be Destiny. So if you feel want to uh, yeah, check it out or even join me in stream, feel free to follow me on Twitter. The link will be in the description below. But until next time, Guardians, Every this has been Unclear, and thank you for watching. Bye.